Eminem has one of the biggest catalogs in all of rap music. When you include unreleased, leaked, officially released, and in D12, he has well over 30 albums. One of the most sought after was called King Mathers from like 2006 to 2008-ish, right when Eminem was in the middle of his addiction. It ended up getting scrapped, but a lot of the songs got leaked, so we don't know everything about it, but we have a decent clue what it would have sounded like. So I want to walk through this era of Eminem and what the album would have sounded like, what the leaks sound like, and yeah, what we could have expected from it if it did come out. So after dropping Encore in 2004, and then the Curtain Call Greatest Hits and recording 8 Mile, Eminem didn't really know where his career was gonna go from there. There's a lot of rumors about his career ending there and him just quitting at that point and retiring. Even at the end of Encore, you hear him killing a bunch of people at his concert. And so people thought he was just kind of done and retiring or at least fading out. But then he dropped Curtain Call and 3UP. So we could kind of figure that he wasn't officially quitting rap. This was a very rough time for him. He was very hooked on pills and Proof had just died in 2006. So that's when the rumors kind of came back up that he was done because this was after those songs came out. So later that year in 2006, all through 2007, people started talking about this new album. If it even existed, if he was going to be done. Apparently someone in Eminem's crew stated that there would be no plans for an album to come out in 2007. I wasn't able to find proof on that, but I've seen a lot of posts about it online people saying that there's a publicist named Dennis but we do know he was recording songs in 2007 still the song careful that you wish for was recorded in 2007 a lot of relapse was recorded in 2007 but this is where a guy named Cassius comes in who was signed to Shady Records after Eminem overdosed in 2007 the Cassius guy came out and said that Eminem was working on an album called King Mathers he actually said it a couple different times and referenced it in his songs he ended up saying that it would be released in 2008 but either way people still didn't know from Eminem exactly what was happening it was just people kind of speaking for him like i said the publicist went out and talked about it cash just just came out and talked about it but nothing from eminem himself but it wasn't really until 2011 which was after a couple albums later that a lot of king mathers got leaked so the track list for it had difficult the song about proof's death if you haven't heard it it's on youtube kind of hard to listen to it's a really sad song 50 ways ballin' uncontrollably which you guys keep commenting that i should react to I've actually already heard it, so I can't react to it. It kind of sounds a lot like Relapse, at least like the flows to it, but you can listen to it and judge it how you want. The song It's Been Real, which really sounds like a retirement track. You can hear him mourning about Proof's death. It really sounds like he's about to quit. The song Syllables, which you guys comment all the time I should react to as well. Seems like it's banned on YouTube. I searched it up, so I listened to it already, and it said that you have to speed up the video because YouTube auto detects it and shuts it down and strikes your channel. So yeah, that track is very well guarded, apparently. There's a freestyle over 50 cents I get money beat, and yeah, a couple other tracks, but those are the main ones you've probably heard of, and if not, you should go listen to. I've heard some rumors about it having like the curtain open, curtain closed that the Eminem show and Encore have. I don't believe that. I don't think that's true. It doesn't really fit the theming, in my opinion, but maybe it did. If you listen to It's Been Real, and if you listen to Difficult About Proof, it really does sound like this would be his last album, like he was planning on quitting, but we know now in 2024 that he didn't quit. There's been a lot of speculation about the leaks that would have been on the album, like 50 Cent, Cassius, like I said, OB Trice, Jay-Z, and even T.I. T.I. kind of has like another alter ego like Slim Shady, so I don't really know how well that would have fit on an album with this theming, but that's who people have kind of said would have been on it. On April 20th, Eminem got sober, and that's where he kind of changed his direction on what he wanted his next album to be. If you've heard that freestyle slash song, I'm Having a Relapse, that Eminem recorded, you can really kind of see where his mindset was. Also, Crack a Bottle, I believe those were the first two recorded at that time. So this is kind of where the King Mathers album kind of died out. People realized he was kind of shifting away from dropping that. Because of the fact so many songs were leaked, like we went over earlier i didn't even read through all of them but with how many leaks there were there's a lot of fans that kind of combine them all together almost like the slim shady lp2 where it's like a youtube playlist with a bunch of different songs back to back with songs like balling uncontrollably 50 ways difficult we can kind of list them and what would have made sense in order the eminem community is kind of split because half of them really want king mathers and the other half don't some people say it would be very corny to see eminem like all depressed and doped up but the other half wants to see eminem's raw emotion there and i think we kind of ended up getting in the middle because it didn't get officially released and he didn't quit and we still gotta hear the songs and the emotions after they leaked on songs like difficult i also feel like if it did drop that he would have quit rap because it really sounded like he was trying to retire and fade out all throughout the album you see references about proof's death how it affected him how his mindset was i think the jump from king mathers to relapse is kind of crazy because relapse we all know how his voice and the accents are kind of completely different than what we've seen from eminem before that from what i've heard on king mathers he really really doesn't have that relapse sound he has like that kind of depressed some songs on encore have it like mockingbird or even when i'm gone from the curtain call but it's a complete jump from what you've never heard from eminem emotionally wise there's plenty of other hints about king mathers such as kingmathers.com the domain was actually purchased i don't believe they ended up putting anything on it it's actually for sale right now for two thousand dollars if you go to it but it shows they were really kind of keeping that like ip and that album name and they were going to go with it this is what they were going to use for the name and yeah like i said 
I'm glad this album didn't come out, but I'm glad we can also hear it just because I feel like he would have quit if he did release it. Maybe he would have done a couple features, maybe not. We don't really know. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you want more Eminem videos, you can click right up here. I have a playlist full of Eminem videos like tier list, rankings, all that. So if you want to check it out, you can. If not, I understand. If you enjoyed this video, like it. If you didn't dislike it, thank you for watching. Peace out.